not look too safe. Okay. Move on up. Okay, I want you to support the attack here. Then we're gonna move Calcutta. Yes, and then all it would take is the fall of Delhi and the Rajas not tell the war. There we go. I mean, we are doing this, slowly but surely, we are doing it. Just getting the right amount of power in the right places at the right time. Might as well just redeploy them here or something. Be quicker. The app should walk all over them. I'll give them offensive just so they have supplies. Ah, there we go. Hmm. I mean, supply efficiency is something of a problem, but well. Go something like that. Okay, wow. We are on the outskirts of Delhi. I could try and push up like that. There we go. Try and cut them off there. But Delhi will fall. Just like the rest, it will fall. And the year is 1945. There we go, those carriers are now ready. God damn, they really are trying to take um, Iberia. I'm just really gathering my air power, my sea power, just everything together. Once we deal with uh, these threats over here, we'll be good to take on the United Kingdom. Motherfucker. Ideally, if I can stop myself getting cut off, I'll be good. Right, there we go. Okay. Leave a division here, just in case. Are we attacking or defending here? I'm not too sure, but I'll... Yeah, we must be attacking. Okay. Attack up there. Motherfucker. Hmm. Could really allow them... Well, could really do with allowing them some time to gather organization. I just don't have that time. Where the hell are these troops going? Hmm. 
start attacking Delhi. Not many forces in Delhi. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty again. There we go. Delhi will fall. Then there's not much left of the Raj. Uh, I mean, if we could cut off this here, I mean, all these forces would be cut off. I mean, they're more or less cut off now. There we go. Actually. Seems like they could do that. Yep, Delhi has fallen. Support that attack, make sure we get the bonus there for attacking from all sides. Yeah. Now they've fallen. Yep, this is basically the collapse of the Raj. Just push for Calcutta. That new capital is over here. We're going to just ignore it and just carry on pushing. There we go. Definitely been a tough fight in India. Alright, how is resistance over here? Yeah, not bad. There we go. Operation Market Garden. Oh, for God. Right. So that's basically saying it won't happen, so thank God for that one. Pull another 10 divisions down here to the Raj. Right, when am I expecting a bloody headquarters, right? Fairly soon. Right, we'll wait for the infantry to back us up. Yeah, it's just a mopping up operation now. So then India is basically all ours. There we go. I mean, we should be gaining a lot of resources from this. To be honest, if I go to my ministers, and we go for, let's see, looking for foreign. Hmm. 
There we go. Right, you should see um, our icy grow now. Yeah, there we go. Uh, mostly because we're using more icy from the occupied lands now. Got that one. Are we at wall with, uh, right, we are at wall in the pole. I mean, we are getting very close to Tibet, and the thing is... Their troops is... well, they're running out of room. How many men does the Raj have left? The Raj still has 122 divisions, but they are running out. Fucking hate the crap that's over here, though. It's ridiculous. It's just I can't manage so many war zones at the same time. I mean, I could pause on everything, but fuck that. I'd give the divisions over to the AI, I just don't trust them. That's pretty bloody beautiful, though. Right. Can't move over here. Nope. Send these men. Rightio. Not much left. Only two more VP points, and then we can annex the Raj. Sort of rush for them. I'd love it if, like, um, Japan would attack the Allies at this point. I think it was the uh, intervention we played, our role in intervening in this conflict that's really opened it up. Otherwise, I think it would have been a stalemate. Hmm. A few more forces there than I would have anticipated, but oh well. I mean, if I motorized could just run over those divisions there, it would be open. Hopefully open. We'll have to see. Can I move here? No. I just need to allow these divisions to just gain. Oh, thank god, we finally have an army. Now then, should finally be able to regain organization properly. There we go. I mean, these guys are being wiped out. I wonder where the rest of the... Ah, oh, fuck's sake. I mean, they're probably down here, so if we remove... The Raj, then, yeah, that should be a hell of a lot of force has gone from the Allies. I mean, the Allies is pretty fucking huge. That's actually not that big. The 4th International is pretty large at the moment. It will grow larger once we release the Africans. Okay. Am I finally able to roll over? Is that division there? Come on. Ooh. 
We've got a lot better in the Raj. This is irritating as all hell. See, we're getting pushed back, and I'm not even entirely sure how. I just wish we could take Gibraltar, but fucking hell, it's more than a fortress. I mean, there's fortresses, and then there's Gibraltar. <laughs> With, like, an insane, absolutely insane amount of divisions. Guard in it as well. Like, I, I don't even think they could have that many people on Gibraltar. Okay. Right, Nepal has fallen. I'll annex Nepal. Goodbye, Nepal. You son of a bitch. Okay. Well, we should be able to roll over Asia, and then once we do that, all these forces can be diverted to the African front. And, of course, to trying to destroy the fucking British. I'll sort out the rest of the technologies later. I just, it's just, I've been playing a long time now, and I'm getting kind of lazy. I'm going to call it a close very soon. Where's my guy? There he is. Okay, there we go. Ideally, I'd like to take the Raj before the end. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Oh, I do not even want to think how long I've recorded this session. I only meant to do like an hour. I did not expect to be doing it this long, but oh well. Labor of love. Labor of love. And it's fun. It does not seem as though they have enough forces now. Yeah. I was hoping that we could blitz through and take the VPs. I mean, that would have been possible if we had the organization and the amount of divisions required. But alas. There we go. Take Rangoon. Can't wait to deploy all these horses to Africa, where they're pretty much needed because the British are fucking annoying. Oh, for fuck's sake. How are we getting cut off? Okay. I mean, I could do with probably uh, diverting forces already to Africa. Like, say, these forces. We'll have to establish a line. Are the Arabs even fighting? They are, but they're just not sending troops out there, which I find extremely irritating. Alright, there we go. More men gone. More gone. And more. Oh god. Life now loads here. Right. Two provinces away from victory in India. Come on, lads. You're expected then on the 29th. It's 
need to make sure we keep these troops locked down. These men can be sent down here. I'd like to think they could break out, but honestly I don't think it's possible now, so I've lost all those divisions because I weren't babysitting them. <sighs> I just wish the AI was a little bit smarter, but oh, uh, fuck's sake. Mm. Come on. Break through them. I mean, we'll take Africa. Yep, see, we've lost those men, fuck's sake. But um, it is going to take more men than I thought. It's just the fact that the Allies are pouring men into Africa. Fucking hell, how? So it's fucking bombers, isn't it? Okay, well, this is going to take more time than I thought. So everybody push for that. Can I annex Tibet? I can. Goodbye, Tibet. Look at that. <laughs> oh my. I don't think we'll have to worry about resources. I'll send some divisions to help that. Those forces are gone now. Yeah. Should hold on to Rangoon if I can. Ah, fuck it. I just wish they moved faster, it's just the fact of the jungles that really slows them down. And the infrastructure. What I should have done is deployed like troops there as soon as I captured the VP. I'll have to do that in the future. Right, we're not going to be able to force our way through. Okay. Well, destroy those troops, that's nice. Start to blow more. Oh, fuck's sake, it's happening again due to the retardedness of my allies. Fuck. There's a lot of divisions, I'm not gonna lie. I think it really would be if we could invade the United Kingdom. Yeah. 112 divisions. That's the issue. It's like time. Alright, we know the situation down here will be sorted in time. That's all it takes. Just wish they'd move these men. I can't deny that there's a lot of force down here.
We might be pushed out of Africa, honestly. But once we deal with India... I mean, I do have my carrier, so I think what we might have to do then is actually prepare to invade England. I mean, how many carriers do we have here? I mean, that's quite a few carriers. So we need to build some transports now. Um... I'm just gonna build a few, to be honest. They're fairly cheap. Oh, you son of a bitch. Great, now the Americans have nukes. Fucking hell, that destroyed so much IC. Fuck, so we're gonna have to end it rather soon, or we're gonna face destruction by nuclear hellfire. Oh. Hello? Oh, yes, you son of a bitch. Okay, the Raj has fallen. Ah, okay. I think that's the uh, place we're going to call it to an end. I don't know if we'll be able to win this war. I think if we'd been ready to invade the United Kingdom, we would have been a lot better off. It was just a fact of fucking Norway. Ah, uh, dear. I can't unify Scandinavia for some reason, which is rather annoying. But yes, this has been a ridiculously long session. I'm going to call it to an end here, so thank you so very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you have, and if you appreciate me doing these ridiculously long marathon sessions, then please do subscribe. And um, if you feel I deserve it, do um, back me on Patreon. Instead of making a single donation, you could support me throughout, um, throughout the channel's history. Allow me to do this, basically. Indeed. Alright then, goodbye for now guys.